You said two weeks ago you're in favor of freezing the current line of control, letting Russia keep the Donbas region as long as Ukraine would give up all attempts to enter NATO. That's Vladimir Putin's basic demand. There's evidence of thousands of Ukrainian children being kidnapped from those areas of Russian control. Murders, atrocities in that area. Isn't that just letting Putin win despite his war crimes? Andrew, you, you conveniently left out the most important part of the deal, which is what the United States wins out of it. That would only be conditioned on Vladimir Putin exiting his military alliance with China. The Russia-China military alliance that would be, is the single me, greatest me. threat that the United States faces today. Excuse me, that would be conditioned, you said, on Russia containing control of the land he has grabbed. So China is a whole other question. Yes. Let's move on. So to, there's a deal. Let's no, no, it's not, it's, it's, it's not, Andrea, Andrea, but one second. This wait, is really important me, to no, understand. Me, I've proposed a deal. Up. There are two sides to the deal. Exit the military partnership with China. That's a crucial part of the deal that I would do. In terms of China, you've also talked about staying as a, a force, a deterrent force in the Taiwan Strait, putting more military in, until you said we would be independent on superconductors in, 19, in excuse me, 2028. And at that point, we should pull out and Taiwan would be on its own. Let me play for you what Nikki Haley yeah. has said about what you've said about our That's not what I've said, but, but you, can, you can play Nikki Haley's lies. You, sure. you, said we, yeah. you said that we should send destroyers through the Taiwan Strait once a week, keep ramping up yes. naval deployments in the South China Sea to essentially deter China from trying to take over Taiwan until we have achieved semiconductor independence by the end of your first term in 2008. At and which point, no longer be at which point we will resume. To stop China. Is that the way the U.S.? Under That's not what I said. I, I, I literally, I will, I will, I will give you word for word what I said. At which point we will resume our position of strategic ambiguity, which Andrea, I will remind you, is our position towards Taiwan today. The U.S. Neither party even recognizes Taiwan as a nation right now. Both parties embrace the one I'm China well policy well as we speak. With a position. Well, that's a good that thing because then you would know that what I've said. But that, that exactly. position does so not that, deal so with I'm the I'm the only presidential that, candidate, Andrea. I'm the only presidential candidate who has said we will defend Taiwan. Nobody's had the courage to say it. And then I've said after we achieve semiconductor independence, we will resume our current posture of strategic is, ambiguity. Which is And so I think it's important emotional. we have these debates honestly. Yeah, 2028 that is correct, quite That is correct, which is emotional. exactly what it is today, which is, which is exactly what it is today. It's a notional commitment Nikki, to strategic ambiguity. Let me play ambiguity. what Nikki Haley yeah. said about your position on Ukraine, Israel. Taiwan. Yeah, it's a lie. Go ahead and play it. Yeah. We do need friends. We do need allies. We should never stop doing that. And his idea of breaking the partnership with Israel, Israel's the first line of defense for Iran. We have a partnership with Israel because they're the front line of defense to Islamic terrorism. We have a front line of defense with Ukraine because they are keeping Putin from doing what he said, which is the next stop is Poland and the Baltics, and that's a world war. That is what we're trying to prevent. Would you respond to her? Yeah, with due respect, my concern is that our steps and NATO's steps right now are marching us closer to world war by driving Russia further into China's hands at a time when we have no visibility into what Russia's red lines are, and further at a moment when Russia has a larger nuclear stockpile and super EMP capabilities and hypersonic missile capabilities ahead of that of the U.S. And so what I've said is I would end that war, but on terms that end the Russia-China partnership. That is also how we deter Xi Jinping from going after Taiwan. Because right now, Xi Jinping's bet is that the U.S. will not want to go for two different allied nuclear superpowers at the same time. But if Russia is no longer in China's camp, then Xi Jinping is going to have to think twice before going after Taiwan. And I will well, repeat, I'm the only <laughs> presidential candidate who has affirmatively said we will defend Taiwan because we have greater national interests there than we do in Ukraine. And I do not think that this war advances American interests. We should focus on the real enemy that is communist China. And that's how I orient my foreign policy.